Welcome back to the VTC course on Wireshark. In the previous videos, we had completed the protocol disassembly series. In this video, we will begin with reviewing the most common network devices where we would connect Wireshark beginning with the network hub. A network hub, or simply hub, is a very basic networking device which allows you to connect multiple hosts together on a shared medium such as an Ethernet cable. The network hub is today most commonly used in some homes, but even there, most people are switching to the more advanced device, the network switch, which is discussed in the next video. When using a hub on a network for basic connectivity and connecting multiple hosts, the host computers send information. It travels into the hub and the hub forwards the information to all other computers connected to it. So in short, all hosts receive the data intended maybe for one of the connected hosts. The computer that the information was intended for will recognize its own MAC address in the packet header and accept the data. The area that the hub forwards all information to is known as a collision domain which is also known as a broadcast domain. A hub has only one collision or a single broadcast domain for all traffic to share. The following image shows a network architecture with collision domains related to hubs. Large collisions make sniffing easier and create performance issues such as bandwidth hogging or excessive traffic on the hub. As I hope you can tell from this information that the network hub is one of the most basic devices which can be used to create a network and also the easiest to sniff on with Wireshark. In the next video, we will continue with network devices and the more advanced upgrade to a hub, switches.